Gentlemen, welcome back. Today's little video, we'll be doing some pipe developments. What we're going to be looking at is a 12 inch uh, Schedule 40 standard riser, 90 degree riser. So let's get some dimensions onto it first. For on, on a standard 12 inch Schedule 40 pipe, the OD is going to be 12.75 inches. The ID going to be 11.94 uh, inches which gives you a wall thickness of 0 0.405 inches so that's the dimensions let's get gunning let's start out uh, first of all let's let's draw a section of our uh, of our pipe and And that'll be the inside face it's, uh, I think we can make that another color and maybe a hidden line just to make sure that we do not get uh, confused about it right so next thing we need to do is we need to divide this pipe into 16 sections we'll be doing it as per the pipe fitters blue book by Graves quite a clever guy there uh, I must say he was quite a clever guy So first of all, we'll divide it into quarters. And then into eighths. And then into sixteenths. And that'll be 22.5 degrees per sector. Just mirror them along and mirror them to that side. And now we can just trim off the excess. Now I'm going to number it as per the uh, blue book, which starts off at uh, point zero on the deepest part of the saddle and then we'll be marking it one two three four with uh, line number four being the furthest extent if I can call it that the deeper section of the saddle where it connects to the um, To the standard data. Okay, so we've got two over here, two over here, And the last line being number four. Okay, so what we'll do now is uh, just get rid of that. Let's start reprojecting to our uh, branch. So that'll be the center line. We'll start from zero, one, two, three, and four, and three, and two, and one, and zero. And let's make our saddle side 10 inches. Is it 10 inches? Yeah, should be. And uh, 10 inches to either side then.
Right, so that'll be the uh, extent of our branch looking from uh, the side elevation. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this one to this side. What we need to do is just get our numbering to correspond so that you've got zero and zero. And now we can start reprojecting from this side. And we only need to go to halfway of the pipe because it's a 12 to 12 uh, connection. There we won't be going into the bottom half of the pipe. So now that we've got our intersecting lines, I am going to draw little circles at the intersection lines just to show you guys what it should be. So we've got it. One, zero, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, and zero once again. Now you'll see that if you do connect these lines, they actually do form a straight line. That is due to the fact that you'll be connecting a 12 on a 12. Well, you are, you're having a 12 on 12 uh, junction. So it, it creates a, a V-cut connection on that side. So I think what we can do is we can delete a lot of these uh, extension lines. And that's basically it. That's in a nutshell. There you have it. So what I'm going to do now is uh, let's do the projection of it. Another projection, the development thereof. So first of all, what we're going to need is the arc length on the outside diameter. Uh, now if the formula for arc length is arc length equals uh, your sector angle from yeah, yeah what do you call it sector angle times the radius but that sector angles in radians so if you want to convert that to degrees it's going to be now i must remember my math it's going to be 2 pi radius multiplied by angle in degrees divided by what's that going to be 2 pi is going to be 360 degrees am i correct so that's going to be 2 pi oh that's uh, i'm not that good uh, so it's going to be pi times 2 times what's it going to be 6.375 it's going to be so we're going to have 40.0553063 just to make it absolute uh, and that's going to be multiplied by 22.5 divided by 360 0 0.0625 multiply that by 40.055306.3 and that's going to give you 2.5034, 2 2.503 inches. That's going to be our arc length on the outside di outside diameter. Okay, so what we'll do is we will create ourselves a development line over there. We can actually do it from there. There we go. And now we need to offset 16 sectors of 2.503 inches. Four, six, seven, eight, and then we just multiply it. Come on. 
Right, and now we can just reproject our sectors from there. And should have actually left the uh, extension lines on there because now I have to redo it. Nonetheless, there we go. Now we can copy the uh, little circle, our little marker, and we are going to start at zero, one, two, three. Four, three, two, one, zero, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, zero. And if we now draw a, I've, I've seen that the spline function works quite good on this one. So if we take a spline and we run it through there, there we go. This one I'm just going to mirror to the other side. Oops, oh, wrong one. And then we put a spline in the center section. Four, three, two, one, zero. One, two, three, and four. And gentlemen, there we have the development of our branch. Let's trim this back and make something out of it. Oops. Why did it, where did it go now? Sorry about that. Sorry for wasting your time, yeah? There we go. Jens and they wear it. Uh, that will be the development of our branch section. Now let's quickly do the development of our uh, uh, main pipe. And what I'm going to do is start off with a vertical once again. And we uh, once again we need to have 16 sectors so we're going to offset 2.503, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, and 8. And then we just double them up. But what I'm going to do is I am going to move them so that we can use our projection on that side. Here we go. So we will have our center line, which is going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and this one, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So this, this is going to be our center mark which will be our zero <coughs> zero line on this one 
and now we should be able to do the uh, reprojection of the of the whole side so i've already copied my marker from there apologies for the parrot in the background that's just part of what we have here so we'll go zero one two three are we there zero one two three four three two one zero not necessary for the rest so what we now do is we take and we draw a little spline now in the olden days you would have used your flexi curve for this i don't know how many guys still remember flexi curve uh, to that side we should be able to mirror it to this side because it's a 90 degree uh, branch and then we should be able to mirror the whole thing to the other end And there we have it, gentlemen. Oh, come on, come on. What's wrong now, yeah? Why is my computer stalling? And there we have the development for both the straight section as well as the riser on your T-junction. Uh, gentlemen, that's as far as it goes. If uh, You can now print this out in a one-to-one -one scale and actually use this as a development on a piece of pipe. Uh, same applies for any other di uh, diameter or class or whatever. Just go and check out and make sure you start off with the... Uh, right dimensions to start out otherwise you're going to run into trouble so gents this is it uh, make sure you've got the dimensions right and you can reproject this this is going to i'm going to tell you this is going to afford you a bit of grinding when when doing the uh, the cutout but uh, in the next video in this series i will be reprojecting the blue book dimensions on here onto here and we will see uh, what the differences are if you've made it thus far thank you very much uh, i'm going to call it for this video please look out for the second part of the series and uh, as always stay safe